First Peter 4, 12 to 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. First Peter 4, 12 to 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceeding joy first peter 4 12 to 13 Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. First Peter 4, 12 to 13.